as you can see I have a black eye and uh, I'm almost certain this is the first black eye I've had since third grade which would have been in 1980 or so um, Hunter and I were roughhousing the other night and his big noggin hit me in the in the cheek there and uh, got a black eye it's getting better yesterday was the bad day but uh, I wanted to tell you about the story about my first black eye uh, I can see it just as vivid as all get out I was uh, playing in the yard back door uh, of right outside the back door right next to the patio and daddy come home comes home from work now daddy worked in like I, I said before he worked in reform Mississippi at a planer mill I don't think I think that he was actually, I don't think he was working there at the time. Something, something makes me want to think he was logging at the time. And that he had carried some logs to Mabin. But anyway, he, uh, what he had done was he had stopped by the Baptist church, Matheston Baptist Church, uh, on his way home. And he had, uh, what he did was he picked up my very best friend, Boyd Harrington, whose daddy was the preacher at Sturgis Baptist Church. And when he moved away, that was probably my first uh, taste of heartache. I just could not understand it. And... Uh, I'll never forget that he, uh, when he was in Matheston, now let me tell you how far Matheston is. Matheston is maybe, maybe 15, no more than 20 minutes from Sturgis. So, but again, as I said earlier, to a child, it seemed like, you know, way crazy, way off. But Daddy had stopped by Matheston to pick Boyd up and, and surprise me with Boyd. Incidentally, one time, I'll never forget it, Boyd sent me a birthday uh, gift in the mail. And Daddy was working in Reform at the time. And Reform was maybe... 10 minutes from Matheston but I mama had brought me that she drove all the way from Sturgis brought me that uh, birthday gift and I went I crawled up under a, a little old uh, fuel tank there that they had and oh in the hot ooh, it was a hot summer day and I opened that present and it was a Battlestar Galactica uh, Cyclone or Cylon, I'm sorry, I'm Cylon soldier, and it was his head, and the bottle was silver, just like the head, and it was bubbles. Well, here I am getting, you know, it, it might as well have been from China, because I couldn't just, could not believe that I was sitting there opening a present from Boyd Harrington, uh, who seemed, that's ironic I said that about China, because he, wound up being a missionary in China but that's another story but he uh, here I was in reform you know just absolutely just you know just ecstatic over this mailed uh, birthday gift and little did I know he was no more than 10 minutes away now, isn't that something so back to the main part of the story is daddy had brought Boyd home with him and Boyd was hiding in the truck. So Daddy come rolling up. And he jumped out of the 
Daddy did, jumped out of the truck, I think the log truck, jumped out of it, and he says, boy, have I got a surprise for you. And he opened that door, and out come Boyd Harrington. Now, Boyd was a little bit bigger than me. He and I about the same height, but he was always a little bit bigger physically than I was and redheaded. And so we hadn't seen each other in so long. I was, you know, just absolutely crazy, and we both were excited to see each other, so... We well, we were hugging and carrying on. We got we. This is literally just like instantaneously now. We got tossing and turning and carrying on, and all of a sudden, Boyd hits me right square in the in the eye. And I believe, if memory serves me correctly, I believe it was my left eye then. And oh, did it hurt? You talking about hurt? Uh, probably the first time in my life that I was ever hit hard in any fashion other than a spanking and that thing went to throb and it went to you know just swelling and everything else and probably was not as bad as i thought it was but boy it hurt it hurt my pride more than anything because here i was excited to see boyd and now we you know had to spend the night with you know he'll spend the night with me and i had to nurse this whole ice situation Anyway, we went over to uh, my aunt and uncle's house, Uncle D and, and Aunt Angie, who lived by the church. And of course, everybody that you know ever came in there, they were they would get to know and whatever. So seeing Boyd was a treat for them, I'm sure, as they practically raised both of us. But so Boyd was there, and he went to explaining why uh, I had a black eye, and he said, "Well, he said I I went to." This is my my real hand, and he held up his uh, his right hand. You know, this is my real fighting hand, and this is my fake fighting hand. And he said, I just got mixed up and hit him with a real one. And so I guess that it was comical at the time. But anyway, uh, I was, again, you know, I was very happy to see him, but it did take something out of the trip. And I'm sure Daddy thought... Lord, what have I done now, you know? And uh, so anyway, Boyd spent the night with us. And uh, I had a little, I, I can admit now, I had a little bit of resentment. You know, I wanted, if something about me wanted to get him back. And uh, so what I did was, is we were, or we slept uh, in my sister's bed. Cause it was big enough to hold both of us, you know. And uh, so we was in there, and the next morning we got up. Well, I can't remember. It was from my birthday, I guess. Uh, I'd gotten a card game, and it was a matching game, and it was uh, Marvel superheroes. And uh, so it had all the superheroes, you know, on it, Marvel characters. One of them was Ghost Rider. Love some Ghost Rider now. Pennant Stare. And it was spooky looking. I, I have to say the card, I loved it. It was one of my favorite cards. And I know I'm warped. But anyway, I showed Boyd that that card. And, of course, Southern Baptist Preacher's Son, you know, Hellfire and Brimstone. Uh, it kind of halfway scared me. And when I realized that, I kind of played it to my advantage. And I said, oh, that, that guy right there? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I'd seen him before. Of course, Boyd started getting scared, you know. He, he said, oh, what are you talking about? I said, yeah, he, uh, he's out there in them woods. Uh, I've seen him out there in them woods over there behind our house. And I'm going to tell you what, Boyd, whether he had a real fighting right hand or a real or a fake fighting left one, he got scared. And I, I have never told that until now, but it was probably a little, I felt a little vindicated after I, I kind of scared him a little bit but love Boyd I tell you what and ironically uh, he came and and uh, he's been on mission field for a long time and like I said in China but uh, he came to church uh, our church and he stayed there I don't know where he is now but he stayed uh, in our mission house and and stayed uh, at our church for for some time 
And, uh, boy, I tell you, uh, my wife and I kept the nursery and uh, for the little ones. And Boyd's little one was in that, that, that nursery room. And uh, I, I, was, I was really moved at, at how, you know, the worm really had turned. Because here I was, you know, my friend of many years with a lot of history. And, uh, and here I was holding this child in, in the nursery. So, and that child was redheaded as he is. And, uh, but I love Boyd very much. And, uh, and I still do. And when we met for the first time after that, uh, after being apart for whoo, no telling how many years, 20 plus years, uh, it was just like a day I'd first day I'd met him at, uh, you know, at church. So uh, that's the history of Black Eye, and who knows, I may get another for us all over with. May have two, uh, but that's my first one, and that's my second one.